Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, we are now, um, once again, going a little step closer about uh, the uh, Windows 11 uh, official release. Of course, it's still months away, so don't expect that to be soon. But it's all indications that the build that we were, were testing on the beta channel is the build for 22H2. Once again, also confirming that it should be pretty stable. So if you are um, waiting for 22H2 this fall, once again, you know, I showed you how to do it in the beta channel. You can now actually do it also on the release preview channel. And uh, as it is released today to release preview. So the official build for the Windows 11 22H2 is still 2261.1. So that means it should probably follow the Patch Tuesday updates from now on and uh, the regular bug fixes update uh, every month as this is pretty much the build. So uh, don't expect new features much. Don't expect many changes. It's really what we're going to get in the fall. Um, now you have the option if you are uh, want to get it now once again and because it's on a release preview well it kind of tells us that it's a little safer even more safe basically than the beta channel because release preview is usually a very safe ring the last testing phase the last testing place before it's officially uh, available and released to uh, everybody uh, you can, of course, right-click on the Start button, go into Settings, go into the uh, Windows Updates, go down to Windows Insider Program. In here, start your Insider Program, and, of course, you can go and choose, rather than Beta now, you can choose Release Preview, as this is the ring uh, for the official build of uh, 22.621.1 right now. Don't forget that if you do go to the release preview and do all of this, remember that you will want to have unenrolled this device when the next version of Windows releases and put the slider on. This means we're going to get, you're going to get all the updates in the following weeks and months. But that also means that you will be taken off of the Insider program as soon as the official release is available. So um, if you haven't done it yet, Release Preview will bring you to 2261.1. And for those in the beta channel, like I was, you can stay in the beta channel, no problem, as long as this slider here, uh, Stop Getting Preview Builds, is on, you will be okay at getting off from the, uh, from the uh, insider rings uh, when the official release is there. So this is, uh, like we say, an inch closer to release, but it won't happen before the fall. Pretty much everybody agrees that it's um, at least September, maybe even October before they release it. They want to, they're going to test it for a long time in the insider rings before they actually release it, which is a good thing. The more they're going to test it, the less chances of anything going wrong for this uh, 11, Windows 11 2.0, basically. And uh, unfortunately, what is probably the saddest thing about 22H2 is how little there are changes compared to the first version. I think a lot of people that were waiting for something big to happen to Windows 11 and the changes are going to wait more because it isn't that a big of a change, like I said, unfortunately. And of course, you don't have to do this. You can just stay on Windows 11 to, you know, where you are. It's all right. And like I said, because there's not a lot of new things in it, moving on to 22H2 before everybody else is more of an enthusiast thing than what you should do, actually. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.